m you know, my own view and I, uh, from experience of uh, been in, being involved in politics for a very long time, it's usually not what you did back then, it's what you say now that gets you in trouble. And uh, for a group of people who seem to have a very tenuous grasp on the truth, um, the chance of lying in an official investigation is pretty high. And I think that is uh, a place where they have massive vulnerability. Uh, and I think the people in the White House, uh, as they know that they may be called to testify, as Trump searches out for his own private lawyer, as other uh, people in the White House probably are going to have to go find their own lawyers. They're probably uh, sweating a little bit. It's not, I don't wish it upon them, but um, uh, it is what it is. And, and I think it makes it all the more imperative that you have a structure in the White House where you have leadership that can separate the investigative elements and what's going on on that front and try to keep it contained and rather than every day pouring more gasoline on that fire, right. try to keep it contained and get the rest of the White House working on the American uh, public's agenda. I think that's a lesson from the Clinton White House and we were successful in doing that. Uh, and that's why, you know, President Clinton after impeachment, after all that, still left the White House with a 65% job approval rating because we kept the government and the White House focused on the people's business, uh, even as we had to contend uh, with Ken Starr and with the impeachment investigation.